All right, I'm going to talk about a couple different types of DNA damage repair systems. The first one I'm going to talk about is called direct repair, and direct repair is just going to directly repair damaged DNA um, due to simple things like oxidation damage, um, alkyl agents. Um, so one example is using the enzyme methylguanine methyltransferase, and that enzyme is going to be used when you have an extra methyl group at the O6 position on a guanine base. And what that enzyme does, it's going to transfer that methyl group to a cysteine residue in the protein, which is going to restore the um, guanine to its original state, with, and that's without that extra methyl group at the O6 position. And that's how, that's a general um, way of how direct repair works, by using that methylguanine methyltransferase enzyme. Um, the next one well, I'm going to talk about is called excision repair, and that has a couple different types. So we're going to talk about basic excision repair pathway, is going to use what's called DNA glycosylases. These enzymes, there's a bunch of different uh, types of these enzymes um, that they're, they all recognize different. Um, dif they all recognize different types of damaged DNA. And a basic excision repair pathway repairs, you know, mismatches in DNA um, and just you know general DNA damage. But the main thing to remember is it's going to recognize the damaged DNA by using these enzymes called DNA glycosylases. So it recognizes the damaged DNA. It's going to remove it. And then DNA polymerase is going to come in, synthesize the new DNA. Ligase comes in to re-ligate the ends. Next one is called the mismatch repair system. And that's, this is the major pathway that E. coli uses. And it uses this protein complex called mute HLS system to recognize the uh, damaged DNA and, and to remove it. And then you know, to synthesize, DNA polymerase is going to come in, synthesize the new DNA. And uh, ligase comes in to re-ligate it. Uh, but it uses this... Uh, this system called mute HLS system, which is in your notes of how it really works, but the main thing you should know is um, that that's how it, that's how mismatch repair pathway is going to go about recognizes the damaged DNA, and the E. coli uses that mostly in um, DNA replication errors like like mismatch bases. Nucleotide excision repair pathway is going to repair more extensive DNA damage used, um, due to UV radiation. And it's going. To, it does it by using these proteins called XP, and they have uh, they range all the way from A to G. Um, so you have XP A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and they all do different things. But but they're all going to do the same. The generalized thing. They're all going to you know they find the damaged DNA, um, they excise it, and then new uh, DNA polymerase gets recruited to synthesize the new correct DNA. Ligase comes in to re ligate the ends. Last one is. Uh, Strand break, strand break repair. I'm not going to go over a lot about this. There's only two slides in your notes about it, and they you have you can have recombination um, repair, non-homologous end joining, and single strand annealing. And what they all do is they're going to fix um, double stranded and single stranded breaks in and damaged DNA due to ionizing radiation. And this is the most harmful. This is the most. This is the worst kind of repair that you can have. It's the most. Um, it's the most harmful repair you can get. Um, due to ionizing radiation, because double strand breaks and single strand breaks are hard to repair, and these three systems can help repair them. It, they're just hard to repair because they can't be re ligated because the ends of their the da uh, the DNA are so extensively damaged, usually due to the this ionizing radiation. Uh, that's why it's so hard to repair it. Um, that's just the three systems that they went over with your notes. I would just know each one, you know, not in a lot of detail, but I would know. <coughs> you know, just what each one generally does. Thank you.